Hey guys, Victor here from RestoreMercedes.com and uh, here we have new to me 1991 500SL um, The problem here is everything <laughs> Nothing works uh, Well, semi nothing works but as you can see it's all in pieces right now but um, the main goal of this video I just wanted to show the problem with the early ASR uh, which is the I believe it's ASR 2 or something like that it's like it's the old school ASR system and the limp mode then uh, I found out why it is caused all right so firstly uh, ignition switch I'm gonna show you that the lights on the dash are not on right now okay so as you saw a starlight just went off for a second went out so it seems like the car is about to be okay now I'm gonna go down to see under the hood see what happens under the hood <clears throat> Now this old school early SR model has an actuator and it has the potentiometer. There are two separate units. So here we have the actuator obviously. This actuator has linkage down here attached to this rod. This rod is attached to another linkage down there. This linkage goes down there. And then underneath there, there is another linkage right down there, right there, uh, right there, as you can, where my finger points. That's the, here we go, throttle. Now, the potentiometer that is controlling, that controls this actuator is installed on a throttle linkage from the pedal, which is right in this area. I removed it already. As you can see, it's laying down here. And what happens is, this particular unit was all flooded it's very gooey really disgusting inside uh, well what are you gonna do okay when well, I cracked the cover open it just fluid would, co would come out as you can see this is this is the residue it would just drip out but it does still work I'll show you so you can see When I move this linkage, actuator works. It is opening and closing. Well, now it's the limp mode. Okay, let me just reset the limp again. Okay, here. It has to be left in certain position. Otherwise, limp mode will come right on. There's the ASR light came on. Okay, so now, when I move it, it works, see it's like I'm adjusting this little motor, you can see the linkage down there moves, because the actuator is working, it has to be looped obviously, the car has been sitting for like a year or so. So, but overall, it is semi alive. Now, what I suspect in this unit is the potentiometer seem to be alive, but um, idle con idle contacts are corroded. That's what I suspect in this unit being being problem, because when I go to idle, the car automatically goes to limp mode. No more reaction, no more noises from the throttle body, nothing. Not the throttle body, I'm sorry, the actuator. See, I can move it, nothing happens anymore. The second I go to idle. So that's what was happening. I was adjusting the linkage and um, I adjusted the linkage to slightly higher than idle position and the car would, ASR light would go, go away off the dash and pedal would respond but second I would return back to idle, it would just 
come back on, ASR would come back on, and uh, that's it. It would just stay there. If I reset it, see it goes away. There is no micro switch on this pedal. It's the micro switch as on 92 and up cars. Uh, they have this potentiometer and the actuator built into one unit. This is CIS ignition with a fuel distributor. Um, as you can see, it works again. As long as I don't go on idle, it will work. And you can hear the noise. That means that the actuator is good. Yeah. Hear a little buzzing noise there. Mm, a similar noise to 92 and up ETA, electronic throttle actuator. Um, but this one is much quieter. Wide open throttle, so it's not a problem. And um, linkage works. So the actuator seems to be fine. I'm not going to go there, but I'm going to try to disassemble this unit and find out of what's exactly corroded and uh, see if I can fix that. Most likely, clean contacts would would just do the trick because the wires are fine. Everything seems to be normal. It's just that idle. Let me try to go easy on idle, see if I can. No, that's it. ASR, limp mode, nothing works. Well, this car was sitting and there was lots of water damage. It's all wet and dirty down there. Um, the engine is a little rusty. The alternator's dead. There was a short on the alternator wiring. The alternator is laying right there. I'm going to have it rebuilt. So, the belt is messed up. The belt tensioner is messed up. Uh, valves, um, distributors, rot rotor, and cups are bad because the wrong spark plugs were used. The resistor spark plugs should be non-resistor plugs. Um, the roof worked a couple of times and then it's just stopped. As you can see, the red light off the roof is lit, roll bar light is lit, climate works, but AC is not working, seats have some rips, but they do work, uh, window regulator is bad, and that's probably the reason why the roof stopped working, um, due to wing window and roll bar synchronization, I cannot do that, because I cannot synchronize them, as the window goes back, it, will, it goes up, but it it just does not stay up, the gear just keeps um, skipping because teeth are worn off on the window regulator so it does not stop, it just keeps spinning like ta -ta 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 -ta, and it doesn't do anything. Cluster, half of the cluster I think is bad because the lights just blink uh, weirdly as you can see I put the blinker on and some lights just uh, see as they just like flash out of a blue for no reason. Mm, shouldn't be like that. I have to take care of that. Central locking system pump works, but there is a serious leak somewhere. Um, the convertible roof is in decent shape, except for a few spots that have to be glued on. But the body is nice, so that's the reason I bought the car. Um, oh yeah, seat belt on one side is bad. This seat belt has to be cleaned up but I think I'm gonna go with used seats because these seats are messed up big time. Transmission engages haven't driven it yet but reverse has no delay so overall I mean it's it's it has potential. A Freon is R12 which kind of old it's a bummer actually because probably will have to convert it to 134 but it does have a nice potential I'll drive it a little bit, sell it, I guess. I'll give it to my to my girl. Let her drive it. It's a little cool roadster for the summer. And summer is right now. Oh yeah, the ignition switch was bad. That's why it's on the floor. I had to open it up to clean contacts. And the uh, paneling is off because I'm changing the window regulator. So here it is. You saw the ASR problem limp mode on the early 91, 19 to 1991.